Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about lateral sinus thrombophlebitis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Lateral sinus thrombophlebitis is also known as sigmoid sinus thrombosis. It is an inflammation of inner wall of lateral venous sinus with formation of an intrasinus thrombus. It is an intracranial complication of otitis media. The pathology of this disease includes four stages. First stage is the formation of pericinus abscess. Second stage is endophlebitis and mural thrombus formation. It is followed by obliteration of sinus lumen and intrasinus abscess. The last stage is the extension of thrombus. What are the causative organisms? In cases of acute infections, hemolytic streptococcus, pneumococcus and staphylococcus are the most important causative organisms. In case of chronic infections of middle ear with cholesteatomas, Bacillus proteus, Pseudomonas pyocyanus, Estrechia coli and Staphylococcus are the most important causative organisms. What are the clinical features of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis? Hectic picket fence fever with rigors. It is an irregular fever with one or more peaks a day. It is characteristic of this disease. In lateral sinus thrombophlebitis, there will also be headache, progressive anemia and emaciation. Grissinger sign will be seen. Grissinger sign is nothing but edema of the post auricular soft tissue overlaying the mastoid process as a result of thrombosis of the mastoid emissary vein. Papal edema and tenderness along jugular vein will also be seen in lateral sinus thrombophlebitis. There are some special tests in lateral sinus thrombophlebitis. They are Tobi IA test and Crowbeck test. In Tobi IA test, compression of vein on the thrombose side produces no change in CSF pressure. Normally, this should lead to a rise in CSF pressure. But in case of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis, there will be no change in CSF pressure. Crowbeck test. In lateral sinus thrombophlebitis, pressure on jugular vein on LT side produces engorgement of retinal veins and supraorbital veins. These two tests are characteristic of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis. What are the investigations that you will do in a case of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis? Blood smear to rule out malaria, blood culture to find out the causative organism, CSF examination to rule out meningitis, X-ray mastoids show clouding of acids or destruction of bone, CT scan reveals delta sign, culture and sensitivity of ear swab are done for the causative organism. What are the complications of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis? Septicemia and pyemia abscess, meningitis and subdural abscess, cerebellar abscess, thrombosis of jugular bulb and jugular vein with involvement of cranial nerve number 9, 10 and 11, cavernous sinus thrombosis and autotic hydrocephalus. How do you treat a case of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis? IV antibiotics should be given, mastectomy with exposure of sinus is useful, ligation of internal jugular vein, Anticoagulant therapy and supportive therapy including repeated blood transfusions are useful in a case of lateral sinus thrombophlebitis. Thank you.